tagging, and I've been tagged. You know the whole YouTube epidemic that's been going on where you tag five people and you have to say five things about yourself that people don't really know? Yeah, that kind of tag. Now the dilemma I'm having with this is that I've only posted one vlog, and so anyone who's just watching these um, videos don't, doesn't know very much about me. So what kind of things do I put on here? Do I have to put things that like my best friend doesn't even know about me, or just most people? So if it's just, you know, I'm just going to try to mix in the middle. I think some people might know these things about me, but I'm going to try to dig deep. So I'm going to use... I'm going to use my Harry Potter cards to count off the top, the five things. Number one, or in card language, the Ace of Spades. I know a lot of random phrases in random languages. Basically, it all started in fifth grade when my teacher decided to teach us sign language and um, some Spanish. So I know how to count in a lot of languages. Um, Okay, not a lot, but more than most people. So, you know, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Um, Japanese, ichi ni san shi go loko sichi achi kuju. Um, ASL. And so on. I also took a German class, and I, it kind of, what I learned kind of goes like this. Hello. Kennst du einen Demand da drüben? Oh ja, das ist mein Bruder Max. And such phrases like Das Wetter ist Turpis for September. Hallo, wie geht es Ihnen? <laughs> Other than those few things in the German, I really don't remember anything from that class. I definitely don't remember how to conjugate any of those verbs. N not even sign. No. Then then there was this one time when my sister and I were dropping from Northern Michigan University to where we live in um, Lower Peninsula, so Marquette to uh, about here. Yeah. Anyway, so we decided to learn um, a little Russian, and here's some of the things I learned from that. Izvinitsya. Vui penyamaya tapangrushki. Vui americanis. Okay, for number two, we're going to have to bring in an alternate card. Not that I don't love Oliver Wood and Sean Bigger stuff, but this one has to do with number six. Draco Malfoy slash Tom Felton. Now, when the first Harry Potter movie came out, I kind of got obsessed with Tom Felton, the actor who plays Draco Malfoy. I don't ask. Just... Don't ask. Anyway, so I visited, I was a frequent visitor of his website, and I joined his um, forum boards, the Tom Felton boards, the TFB is what we called it, um, back in 2002. Now, that's all good and all, but they don't exist anymore. The Tom Felton boards were demolished by Tom Felton himself. He posted this thing about how uh, the boards were too popular and his server couldn't host them anymore. So what happened is that a bunch of us who were really devoted, no longer Tom Felton fans at that point, decided to come together and create um, our own boards. And that is my number two secret that not many people know about me, is that I am a member of the TF er, of TFB, which is now standing for the Forever Beyond. And there will be a link over there. Yeah, I'll link it over there. And so if you want to join, um, we're all for new members. Number three. Now, I know I'm using these Harry Potter cards, and you're probably getting sick of me mentioning Harry Potter. And that a lot of these have to do with Harry Potter. But this is my last one involving Harry Potter. You're about to learn something about me that almost nobody knows. I was first introduced to Harry Potter in the fifth grade. Fifth grade seemed to be a good year for me, I guess. When um, our teacher decided to read part of the first Harry Potter book to us. It was like 1999, I think. Anyway, so I liked what she had read to us. I was really excited. I was like, yeah, books. I love books. I'm in the fifth grade. And so I went and I bought it. So I started reading it. 
and I can honestly say I fell asleep in Snape's class. You know, chapter 8, that's, you know, potions class. I, I fell asleep reading it. And after that day, I stopped reading Harry Potter. Until I heard about the movie, and then I decided it was time to uh, pick up again. And by that point, I think it was like a maturity thing, and I wasn't really into books in fifth grade, and reading a book in fifth grade kind of freaked me out a little bit, or put me to sleep. And so once um, I heard about the movie, I was like, man, I really liked that book when I started reading it, but then it got really boring. So I decided to re finish reading it, and then I did, and the rest is history, and it all led to the Harry Potter tattoo, and so on and so forth. Number four. Okay, so it's pretty well known that I don't really like Central all that much, and I plan on transferring as soon as I can, which is next fall. But there is one thing that I love about Central. And here's a clip of exactly what I love about Central. I mean, really, what is cooler than moving bookshelves? Nothing. And number five. Since this is a picture of Harry when he was really little, I mean, that's when he first met Hagrid in that picture. Look at that, look at that belt. I'm going to tell you something about when I was little. Um, when I was little, starting probably when I was about three, I would repeat when TV shows were on. I knew when everything was on everything. Even things I didn't watch. I, I mean, I did watch TV a lot when I was young. I like, I watched Gumby. Oh, I love Gumby. I miss Gumby. Anyway, back on topic. Anyway, so I would uh, repeat when the show was on. Not just be like, hey Maggie, when's the sh when's um Gumby on? I wouldn't be like, eh, it's on at noon. No. I would be like, it's on at 2, 1 central. Why would any, why would we need to know when something's on its central time? We're at Eastern Standard Time. So I would actually repeat, because, you know, that's what they say in the commercials. And I was a little kid, and I was learning how to talk and developing a language, and that's what I did. I impersonated the people on the TV. And so those are the five random things you probably didn't know about me. No, as for tagging people, I was tagged by Emily. Link over there. Um... She's the only person I know at vlogs that I can actually tag, so I don't have anybody to tag. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I want one. I want somebody who was referred to this vlog by, from the Forever Beyond. I want somebody who is brought to this vlog thanks to Nick, the Nerdfighter Ning. And I want somebody to do this if they were referred here by MySpace. And then... If you just stumbled around about it randomly, or I randomly told you, then I want you to do it. Okay? See you in my next vlog.